My name is Tom Watson, I'm the Member of Parliament for West Bromwich East and I would like to send my greetings to all my Muslim friends and non-Muslim friends. I'm at the Joe Cox get-together in San Juan. Joe saw an epidemic of loneliness happening all around us and she inspired me with that. Because the truth is in Samwell, we too have too many lonely people who live alone and feel isolated and need us to give them support. And she gave me the energy to support campaigns to take on the issues of social isolation. When I look at those men and women that deliver Meals on Wheels to some of the most vulnerable people in our borough, I'm proud of them. And I'm proud of the work they do to keep our community ties so strong. And that phrase she used, that is now famous around the world. She said, she said, by the, sorry, a bit emotional. She said, we are far more united and are far more in common with each other than the things that divide us. That's now a globally renowned phrase. But we should remember, there are some people in our society that do not believe that. They do not believe that we should be more unified than we are. They do not believe that we have more in common. Her killer didn't believe that. And so that's why what you do today is to recognise that the best way to honour that phrase that has led to a movement is to celebrate her life and her bravery, is to show that we do believe those words. We do believe that our con common humanity unites us. And we want to try to achieve a little bit of what she might have achieved had she li lived. And that is what the great get together is all about today. This event and thousands of other picnics and events around the country are about bringing our communities together, strengthening our bonds, sharing our common humanity, standing up for a more tolerant society, a more equal society. And so today is about our country coming together in every town and city in every community and park, in every common space, every faith and no faith coming together to share our common bonds. And you're part of that. And I thank you all for being here today from the bottom of my heart and on behalf of Joe's family and her friends. Thank you. welcome and introduction. Um, I'm sorry about this microphone, but um, you have to hold it right near to your face um, and I've been told I have to use it like an ice cream. Um, I'd like to thank you all for coming together today and uh, joining this great get together. One of many events being held across the country this weekend to celebrate the As she has been to many others, she always fought for equality, fairness and justice for all and I'm really, you know, so proud and, and you know, I just overwhelmingly cry that, uh, you know, there are women out there who, who achieve and, and inspire us and Jo was one of them. Um, her, we, we, so, you know, we honour Jo Cox's legacy by standing up for the things that she believed in, her belief that we are far more united and have far more in common than what we divides us fits well with our values 
here in Sandwell of trust, unity and progress. We stand together today in friendship and in unity to remember Joe and to celebrate our own diverse communities here in Sandwell. We are stronger and achieve great things when everyone joins together and today is, a, is an example. We also take back some of the love that we share to our friends and our neighbours and I'd like to thank you know, the faith organisations, the voluntary sector organisations and, and those people who give up their time and, and volunteer to, to make this place a great place to live. A big thank you to Joe Cox's family and friends for coming up with the great get together and to new neighbours and Sandwell Churches League for organising the event today. I, I hope that you enjoy the activities and the wonderful sunshine and also the surrounding here at Sandwell Valley and I, I do hope you have a great time. Thank you.